Hi everyone, Electro here. Just a quick demo today on uh, ceramic injection moulding, or as we call it, pressed ceramic in the trade. Um, it, basically it works on the same principle as a, a metal casting techniques, the lost wax technique, where that involves making a wax pattern, making a mould of the wax pattern, and then burning it out and casting it with metal. Now, the burnout stage is where we're at now. There's my burnout furnace and the mould is inside, as you can see it's fairly hot, it's actually 900 degrees. It's been heat soaking for an appropriate amount of time and before I, this is my ceramic furnace, the pressing furnace, but before I load it I'll just explain to everyone how it works so you can understand how everything works before I load it all up. Now all it is is a programmable furnace with a vacuum and a pneumatic plunger system bolted to the top of it. Now what that does is, hang on, I'll just open it up and show you guys. Till it's back. Now you can see at the top there is a pneumatic plunger. And you can activate that to go down or up. Now as you'll see later the significance of that is for this plunger here. And that pushes the molten ceramic into the mould. So without further ado, I'll load it all up and show you guys how what I do. So I'll get the mould out. That's very hot. Turn that off. Now I'll load up my ceramic ingots. These particular ones are lithium disilicate which is a um, a synthetic glass and this plunger is an aluminium oxide rod so basically what we do I open the furnace now as you can understand that's the mold I made with the wax pattern in, inside the mold I put it in a furnace which burnt out the wax pattern leaving a vacant cavity inside the mold which is investment material which is a uh, phosphate bonded investment now, I've loaded the glass pellets on top of that and the plunger on top of that. Now, the plunger on top of the machine coincides with the top of the plunger here. So, when the glass is molten in a vacuum environment, at the appropriate temperature, the furnace will activate the plunging mechanism to come down at a pressure of 5 bar and that'll inject the ceramic into the mould. Now the coefficient of thermal expansion of the mould is matched to the ceramic so it won't crack when it's cooling. The furnace is down, push the start button. I've set all my parameters. This particular glass will melt at 930 degrees. The furnace will preheat the material for 20 minutes which means it'll keep it at that temperature for 20 minutes in a vacuum so it's nice and molten and then proceed with the injection procedure now as complicated as all of this sounds uh, it's only a mechanized way of doing this you can do this by hand believe it or not just with the use of a normal kiln all you do is load everything when you're burning it out take it out at the appropriate temperature and just force the plunger down with weight um, it's as simple as that. The results aren't medical grade, hence the mechanisation, but for, for simple stuff like automotive and stuff like that, it's a technique that you can use at home. Now, for a plunger, I use aluminum oxide rods, but um, you can make your own, like these ones here. These are just made from an, the investment material. It's poured into a, just a rubber mould and you can make as many, these are just disposable basically and you can make them out of excess um, investment material as well. Now after that's pressed, cooled, divested which means sandblasting all the investment material away etc. Uh, this is what you get, well depends on the pattern you've made of course but this is a previous pressing that I've done and as you can see it's quite intricate. The thickness is well, I can press down to 0.4 millimetre in thickness, over a reasonable amount of area, 
and uh, this this ceramic is like super strong. It's a good dielectric material as well, etc. But this is just another way of making uh, patterns, etc., in ceramic. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. Post your thoughts. Bye for now.